Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Blenavon Industrial Landscape in Southern Wales. This is the Blenavon Industrial Landscape and here in South Wales these small villages and towns were at the heartland of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries. Coal mines, iron mines, iron works, factories, railways, company villages, everything was here. It's still very well preserved and it provides a fantastic view of what life in these towns was like in the 18th and 19th centuries. Let's go exploring. This is the Big Pit Mine here in Blenavon, and it's the largest and most important mine here. It was built in 1880, and it operated actually until 1980, though it peaked production just prior to World War I. At that point, mines in the South Wales area produced nearly 30% of the world's coal, and a huge percentage of that came from right here at Blenavon. At one point, a staggering 250,000 tonnes of coal came out of here every single year. This is the Big Pit coal mine, and it's part of the Blenavon landscape. We're about to go down underground several hundred metres. Unfortunately, we can't take the camera down, but I'm really excited. Now this isn't actually a mine, it's a replica, but it gives you a great idea of what mines must have been like. We've just finished our tour and it's just so cold and claustrophobic down there, though it is a bit bigger than other mines that we've been in. But it's just so hard to imagine that, you know, people used to work down there when they were five years old, little boys, little girls even, uh, only by the light of a candle, 12 hours a day. This is the ironworks here at Blenavon, and it was founded in the 1780s to exploit the local reserves of iron ore and coal. At its peak, it employed thousands and thousands of men uh, operating the blast furnaces and making pig iron, wrought iron, and later steel that would fuel the industrial revolution and send British power around the planet with ships and trains and railways. But it was hellish hard work the mortality rate was very high and conditions were absolutely unthinkable to modern ears and many of the social reforms that we take for granted like education, pay, good working hours, they got started in part because of the local miners. Now it was on this site that one of the most important developments in the entire industrial revolution took place. The young chemist discovered that if you smelted steel using iron ore but lining the pit with limestone bricks you could create very very high quality steel out of poor quality iron. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.